Hi everyone, this is Urmi here. Today, this video is going to be a vlog. I have wanted to set up a home lab where I'm making DIY formulation videos and upload it on YouTube. So for that, I needed equipments and raw materials. Equipments I had got like very long ago, maybe four, five months back. And I have been procrastinating a little bit or maybe a lot to get my raw materials. But finally, I got my raw materials. I ordered them yesterday and I got them today. These are from a website called The Sopery. They have waxes, carrier oils, cosmetic micas and everything. So today I'm gonna open this box and show you all ingredients that I've got. And also my equipment that I got four, five months earlier. This may sound like a packaging ASMR or something. Let's have a look at the ingredients one by one. First up, we have mango butter. Mango butter is obtained from mango seeds and it is also soft like shea butter. A bit harder than shea butter is, but uh, yeah, but still I would say it is still a soft butter. Next is shea butter. Ooh. So these two are soft butters I got because I want to make uh, body butters. I want to try making them. Then then there is candelilla wax and I think 100 gram would be enough for me since I'll be making small batches. Then we have fetal alcohol. It is a long-term fatty alcohol. Okay, this was what I was very excited for, cocoa butter. Oh, it really smells good. Then I've also got some safflower oil. It is lightweight and has very easy absorbency on the skin. This, I think this is vitamin E, it's supposed to be vitamin E. So I got vitamin E oil as well. That is because it will act as an antioxidant in my formulations. Now the most interesting ingredients that I got, these are cosmetic mica powders, pink and purple. Oh, both are called pink but it looks purple i'm gonna quickly swatch them and the other one is okay these look really pretty There are pearls everywhere. I also got a beeswax slab from a nearby farmer's market. I was going somewhere and I saw this one stall that had beeswax products. So I got it from here. Now my equipment. This I am sort of excited to show you all. Okay, so this is a mixer. And you get all of this in that. You have to attach it like this and it literally mixes like so fast. I chose this one because the blades are like propeller blades that we use in industrial labs. So I thought this one was like a much better equipment to use and it also comes with these other attachments like a small whisk. And I don't know what this is for, but yeah, this one should be very useful for me if I want to make body butters. So I got this one. Next on my equipments list is a good weighing balance. This has uh, 0. Point, like 0. 0.00 decimals, so it's much better to use. It's up to 300 grams.
so it looks like this. And then we waste stuff here as usual. Then I got beakers. This is a set of five beakers. 100 ml to I think 5 ml. The 5 ml one is so cute, I cannot explain. Like literally it is this small. <laughs> then I got spatulas and these are a few things from my old dissection box. I thought I might need them. These spatulas I got from India four five months ago when I went there. Quite affordable. And I also got like water glasses. A bunch of them to weigh ingredients in these. These are also from India. There are still few ingredients that I have to get but I think I'm good to start off with these. At least I can start making stuff like lip glosses, lip balms, body butters because this has cost me a lot. Ingredients are expensive that's why. So this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today wherein I showed you all of the ingredients I got and my equipments. Do anticipate and wait for formulation videos. I am still planning what and when to make because I only get weekends to do all of my YouTube stuff. So please wait for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and share this video with your family and friends who would be interested in making DIY formulations. And I will see you later. Bye.